Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire. We're sat in Manchester. It's very busy, isn't it? It looks like we might need to uh, upgrade our station there very shortly. However, today, today's going to be about freight, freight and more freight. Yeah, that is our next goal. We have 800 cars of freight to deliver before, well, we'll go and take a look at that shortly. We've also got to keep in mind London. We've got to make our way down there. It's sort of a, a long-term task that's always there and has been for a few episodes now. So we'll be sort of heading that way and making sure we haven't got too far to go when the time comes and we've got uh, that area available to us. So we've got a bit of money in the bank. What we got here? Conductor. We'll need conductors. While we will be doing a lot of freight work today, as we uh, are up to 150 nearly. Look at that. That's going up fast, isn't it? Yeah, 150 of 800 nearly. <laughs> Why did you stop at 149? Come on. But yeah, that, that's going well, even if we just left our network as is. But uh, passengers and mail... Port Wrexham. We've been able to build in Wrexham forever. However, it's just difficult to get there. So we won't be doing that yet. We'll leave Wrexham uh, as is. It's just expensive to go up there. It's very awkward. And we can make cheaper, longer routes for passengers and mail if we go out into the uh, flatter area of the country. And we've got Northampton to hook up. Peterborough we don't have access to just yet. And there's obviously Nottingham here. Uh, we did connect up Hull. Uh, I'm just letting the money accumulate a little bit while we figure out where we're going next. I think a good one for freight is uh, our pigs here. Yeah, we've got uh, a pig farm there. We've got another pig farm here, which we can just about build in. And if you uh, take a look at the map, we've got Nottingham, which is uh, going to be making, I guess it's ham, is it? Yeah, it looks like ham. It's not bacon, is it? No, it could, it could be gammon as well. But yeah, Northampton as well and Birmingham. So we could use this farm for Birmingham. And we'll use this one for both Nottingham and Northampton. That's more freight. Right, let's get into our staff here and get us a stoker. Do we need a stoker on here? We do. We've got an express there, which is kind of nice. Stoker, do you make everybody happy? Well, indifferent, I'll take. Right, the music is just kicking up as we get into building. What do we need to do? We need another station. I think we're at the point now where we start to... Oh, we've got Oxford available down there as well. Didn't see you down there, Oxford. Yeah, we were at that point where we can start planning our network and getting our maintenance stations in that operate as our junctions. And also, double up on stations where possible. I do want to upgrade Manchester today as well, their second station. That's, that's a hive of activity. Right, so every station we build from now on, uh, city stations, are definitely going to be our signal controlled stations i like building the smaller ones because they leave enough room for you to expand into a double one without having to demolish it okay with that station we can connect straight into our maintenance yard here which merges the two stations so we can have one of these head up north and the other one can head all the way over can't it to london yeah continue off to, uh, and the south, south and the east, southeast and northeast. Yes, that seems about right because this way would be southwest and northwest. I like it. We've got plans. Birmingham's going to diverge uh, to the north, south. Oh, well, everywhere, isn't it? It's going to go everywhere. Let's get all this in, get our network set up. Now, this will be the line heading to Wrexham eventually however it's just going to terminate just below our pig farm here the reason i'm doing that is so that we can make a tidy junction for our uh, pigs to go into and not have to mess with the line afterwards 
Not so much that it's difficult to delete and rebuild, more that it uh, can mess up your trains sometimes. For our pig farm, I think we're only going to need a small train station. I would like to leave enough of a gap here so that we can get its own water tower in. That way, when we're filling, we can do it off the main line. And that will keep things moving, even when we are filling up. There we go, that should be enough room. We'll do a, a double track, just in case we decide to double up on the trains. That way they stay off the, off the main line. That should be enough room either end for our supply tower. Now we can get signalled up on the main line. I mean, we do have the opportunity here to branch that way, direct into the maintenance yard and bypass Birmingham entirely. It'll be fairly tidy, wouldn't it? Yeah, we don't need to signal that side yet as we're not doing that. At the moment, we might as well get this hooked up because it's a complete connection and now we have access to the southern station in Birmingham as well uh, we will go around and add maintenance yards quick look at our company bonds we have broke a million so at some point today we will flip these bonds rotate them around and we'll get us uh, two bonds at a million each which should give us about I guess 1.2 million to spend okay so we got that up and running let's get a train on there freight only which will become important later on currently we're just using the best mixed loco we have we're not going to use a conductor on there though do we have conductors on our birmingham to manchester track we do but we are going to be setting up nottingham today as we were linking off from manchester which is when we're probably going to need to upgrade that as well so let's get Nottingham up and running because that's going to be another one of our uh, yeah another one of our freight trains. And money's getting low, so we might be flipping our bonds sooner rather than later. Get you in there. We'll send. Well, we could do a little bit of a uh, triangle here, can't we? But we'll send you up. Well, I hope we can do this. Oh, look at that! Zero percent grade. It's going to be pricey. We'll flip you up into there. That's a lovely, lovely route, isn't it? I mean, 1% grade. Our trains are getting to the point where they don't care. Expensive. Just 54 miles between Nottingham and Birmingham. We've run out of money. But our money is increasing rapidly. Do we flip our bonds? How quickly are we going up? We're now up to 200, so over a quarter of the way... 1836 is when we need to achieve this buy for a green tick. However, we're we're all about this gold run, aren't we? Definitely. Uh, how much did we need for this? I can't remember. Oh, a spy. Hold everything. This makes uh, this makes things a little more interesting, doesn't it? We've got that accountant down there, but we decided not to use that, or I did. 122,000 now for spies. Oh, that's worrying. If they keep going up every time we use them. Well, he stays around for a little bit. We shouldn't be too far away from 122k. Oh, do you know what I should do with that train since we're on it? I forgot to uh, set that weight until full. That will keep our network moving, won't it? Right, we can afford this spy now. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully something nice. Do we risk going for Beatrix yet again? Let's take a look at, look at our competitors. Who is worth the most? Well, they're all worth the same because they're not doing anything. So we'll just stick with Beatrix. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll stick with Beatrix. Hopefully that spy is still with us. You are? That sounded grim, didn't it? I mean, <laughs> he's still with us. Chris, Alan, please go and get us something lovely. A new loco would be great. And preferably this one, the Firefly 222. It's an express train because I'd love to start our expresses being more express-like. Uh, the, the other option is, is the uh, Derwent 060, which is a nice freight train. So either of these two. This is, we've kind of missed the older right now. 
it's a nice train, but it's superseded really, isn't it, by the John Bull. Anyhow, should we get building our line? It is really tempting to uh, flip these bonds. But I think we can get away with doing that. This looks like a nice connection, doesn't it? But it's not needed yet. No, we're not sending anything just yet. I would like to head there. We could possibly make use of that warehouse and send stuff up to Birmingham and Nottingham. We'll have to keep that fairly stocked up, though, wouldn't we? How much are you going to cost? And is it going to be a nice little... Oh, it's lovely. Well, you're only 12k. I'll tell you what, guys. We'll do it now. And then we've got a nice connection. Just there, if we wish to branch. We might even be able to fit a supply tower in there as well. It'll be a bit snug. But, yes. Yeah, if we go somewhere like that, we should stay off either side of the... Uh, the tracks there maybe it'll be very very close won't it right now we've got to move that signal to the other side of the junction lovely there we go that's a yeah that's a lovely connection let's get you all signaled up now the music is so happy which is apt because so am i there we go should we flip these bonds have they gone up well the a little bit we are steadily making cash though, aren't we? Let's get a train running between here, a mixed service. We'll go from Birmingham to Nottingham. We'll keep it mixed. Spicex, oh guys, we got the Derwent, which is the freight train, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, I love that. Right, automatic, should we stick with automatic? They're just gonna take meat backwards and forwards. That would be pointless. They're not going to do that. We don't want them to do that either. So we'll get this one running as a passengers and mail only service. And there we go. We've got the Derwent now, which is the, is it the Express? It's not, is it? It's the, what are you? You are the freight train. Yeah. Uh, do, are you faster? No, you're not faster than John Bull, but you do have a lot more oomph, tractive effort wise. Yeah. We'll get the Derwent on our, uh, on all of our freight services, I think. It's expensive. Not worth putting on our passenger lines. We got another chief engineer. Monitors all construction sites. Now, we have someone that does that, which is Andrew up here. But we have no green arrows. So if Penelope Moore, who is very serious as opposed to slow, gives us some green arrows, we'll replace them. Not worth it then. This is an interesting thing. You are level 2 and only offering 3%. You are level 1 and offering 3%. How does that work? I guess you don't go up 1% each time. Or, or you're about to uh, level. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Right, so we've got our Nottingham, Birmingham to Nottingham train. Not very busy at the moment. But I'm still going to add another one going the other way. So we don't have to worry about it later on. And we're going to keep these passengers and mail only. We're going to stick with the John Bull and we'll stick a conductor on you. We might as well stick one on you as well because I didn't realise that we had a, a few in there in our back pocket. By the time I've made a decision, our money's already gone up. A fair chunk, hasn't it? Right, let's get this connection between Manchester and uh, if we can get it nice and tidy and nottingham a little bit of a uh, cross-country service going on there if we can if we can get that nice it would be ideal can we get that quite close to our station i don't think we're going to connect oh no we might need to connect eventually but there's plenty of room to get up there isn't there i don't really want a uh no maintenance yard on there it's too hilly isn't it so 56 miles can we make that better probably at this end if we can get you down and cut across a little better 54 there we go 52 that's a nice snug connection be a bit tight getting in there i don't like that you've put a bridge in there so we'll get rid of that 81k oh god i've got to keep 
my eye on our money because as we saw it's now a hundred and something more 120 plus thousand per spy and we're kind of relying on those until we can build us more universities and that will get our innovation points up won't it right let's get some signaling on here we'll also have as a uh, a supply tower we should be able to afford that there we go and um, we'll get another service running from manchester to nottingham passengers and mail only no this is going to be a mixed service because we'll possibly take meat to manchester as well as cider back to nottingham so yeah we'll definitely have this mixed there we go you go over there automatic and we'll go with the john bolt and we can put a conductor on you there we go our conductors are all gone i don't think we have any staff now okay i think it is time guys we're gonna flip these and then we can build to our heart's content and we'll pay these off and we'll get another one out for a million now we've got one and a half million in the bank nearly which means we can upgrade this and there'll be plenty of room we already have a maintenance yard on there now is our train on the way out no is that you manchester to nottingham is waiting there we go that answers that doesn't it set up a rail line from nottingham to manchester automatic will get you on with the john bolt and we will eventually get us i just <laughs> just threw on a uh a stoker there oh look at that yeah we're already starting to take ham there's the answer it is indeed ham so we're already taking ham we've got this nice and big now so uh, that should allow for a lot of our trains to pass through as well as stop there back to building then express line in danger which does suggest beatrix and company have uh, where are we? we want to be in research have unlocked the firefly so we definitely need that as soon as possible but we're not going to be able to get it with our innovation points we're at minus two that's fantastic that's because i uh, got a little greedy didn't we we sold the points so all these trains on here what i'm thinking which is nice that they're uh, the uh, the slower of the trains blackmail well we've got no choice have we i'm gonna pay the demand i didn't want to see that but it usually happens thankfully when you've got loads of money in the bank so we'll manage these we'll get these flipped over and we'll have the derwent take them now this bit of track here is quite steep here we go we're struggling to get up there at seven miles an hour whistle as we go now let's quickly change this train over to the derwent which has a lot more pulling power and already it started to oh it's got the uh the coal on the front the tender that's interesting but now we can get on board that's amazing isn't it 16 miles an hour already we're breakneck speeds <laughs> for this era that's not bad is it it's pretty good yeah there we go what a difference that made so we're going to do the same with all of these around here we'll do them one at a time because it is a little bit pricey we get a bit of a refund but we're still throwing 50k at them and that should keep our trains moving down that uh down that run there we've got another one there that we can uh, swap over get you done we're not quite at the point yet where we can do a mass replacement we will take another security guard though and we'll get some more pigs up and running unless uh, some of you don't have them do you no let's get uh, one on here you're indifferent i'll take it that'll be fine it's a short little run as well so that's nice is it no that's a that's an awful run i think this guy's got one on though yeah you've got one on. is that everybody with upgraded trains now freight wise down here i think it is isn't it except for you you're not really required to have one but i'm gonna give you one anyway there we go yeah get you moving down there this train's amazing I, I never knew it had a coal tender on the front how's that even work do you stand on the front and just throw it straight in 
that's an interesting design. I, I don't know what's going on there. I half feel it's broke. Anyway, should we get some more stuff? Uh, ooh, cider. Yeah, we can afford that. We'll get a bit of a discount as well, won't we? Connection bonus at Wrexham. I thought we already did that. Well, we've got the cider maker. We will make use of that once we can get down to Plymouth. If it keeps giving us a connection bonus for Wrexham, we'll just keep taking it. Uh, it might have been the apples, though, below it, to the south. Yeah, I think it was the apples. I would like a maintenance yard down here. Money's going up so quickly. Yeah, I'd like a maintenance yard that's going to operate as a junction. Somewhere flattish down here, so we want to avoid the thick contour lines. Uh, is that fairly flat? I think that will give us pretty much what we need got to see where nottingham is nottingham's going to be a bit of a pain to get to there should do that way we can slide in with our pigs pig sliders right uh we need another station on here to uh deal with the eastern side of the map they're both going to deal with north and south so let's get us a standard train station it looks like our uh, our cheaper buildings guy has uh, leveled up. We'll check that in a second. Have you leveled up? Yeah, now they're both at 3%. He was about to level. There is no reason to swap those over. Let's get a maintenance yard on you while we're thinking about it. We might need to expand that, actually, looking at it. It's getting a bit busy, isn't it? Let's do it. 172k. Get you moving up there. And we'll get this connection in. It's This is a bit of a strange one. I think we possibly want to go like that. And then use that one to go to Peterborough. I mean, we could go to Peterborough from the north end of Nottingham. So we'll, we'll go... We'll go into... Yeah, we'll go into this one. I don't think we've got any reason to go the other way. I like that this is 0%. That's lovely. Now, we need a station in Northampton. I'm going to aim for where the river... There is none. <laughs> it just ends. It goes underground, doesn't it? Yeah. We can go above that, can't we? Right, let's get you in there. I don't mind them going at this angle. It sort of works for Northampton, doesn't it? We just need that one in there. That way we can drift off to Birmingham this way. I mean, technically, we could have angled it so we could go round. But uh, we're getting to the point where I don't mind paying for bridges. This is going to be a little bit of a, a turn round here. This other station, we could technically come round. But what I'm thinking is we actually use that to bypass Northampton. Which might be a better idea. That'd be sort of the uh, the West Coast main line, wouldn't it? Where it bypasses uh, Northampton. But it can go into Northampton. I'm sort of recreating the real world here, aren't I? Yeah, they're not on purpose. It's just happening that way. It's sort of working. I like it. Right, let's get us a uh, double station. How much is it for the double track? it's not worth it is it we might as well spend a bit more and have a signal controlled one then it gives us more throughput doesn't it we'll see how it looks we can just go in there if it's not too terrible see 2% grade at this point in the game isn't too terrible at all so that can go in that way now what this does give us since this is uh, signal control is the option to actually straight up bypass this one can then branch at this end can't it one to peterborough and then this one down to northampton i mean it'd be nice once we've got northampton i don't like that that's four percent grade it's half to do with how this is sitting i guess before we uh, do anything since we get a full refund we could attempt to see if we can get better placement on here it's because we're straddling these uh, these contours. We don't want to get too close to Peterborough either. If we put it in there, will it be tidier? It does mean we could go direct into 
into Nottingham? Can we get in after the bridge, perhaps? Well, that's a little tidier, isn't it? Yeah, we've got no need to go in here. That'll be fine, won't it? It stops us from going unnecessarily through there. What we can do is we can have our uh, supply tower up here somewhere. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? I like that. Technically, we can also pass through here, should we want to, later on. Right, so this one's going south. I don't even know whether this is better. There, it is better. Look at that. Guys, we've got a bit of a dip there, which is unfortunate, but it might be worth it. Especially if we can go through there, for whatever reason. I don't think we can, but... Uh, yeah, it's not worth it, is it? Get rid of that. We'll have we'll have a better grade and pay for a bridge. It's not a, the most expensive bridge in the world. We'll get you in there. That's a lovely junction as well, sliding in like that. And it does give us a bit of room, doesn't it, as well, for our supply tower. Uh, I guess we could have it near the bridge. There we go. Uh, get in there. Get in the bridge. There, there we're, we're in. And then we'll have our maintenance yard on here we're spending all this money today but it's going to be another connection for us freight wise uh, that's what it was all about although we've just set up a couple of pigs no we haven't we've set up all of this what are you talking about man and that we've got uh, manchester to nottingham we've got birmingham to nottingham we've got northampton to nottingham we've got pigs galore right let's get you connected in We've got the maintenance yard on there. I would like maintenance yards on this new station at Nottingham and this new station at Northampton. Oh, not upgrade it. Did I upgrade that one? I felt like I did. Another station master. We've got an engineer as well. We'll take you. Are you going to make anybody happy? What do you do? Draws up. Oh, no, it was not a station master before, was it? It was chief engineer. Uh, station master which does the same as ingrid but do you give us a green arrow you do not so you're just a waste of space well you're not a waste of space we we're, we already have someone qualified and uh, they don't cheese everybody off are we good i think we're good right let's get up these uh get these pigs up and running uh, it's a level two because they're already supplying it by a horse and cart there uh, we could buy it but I don't think it's required. What we'll do is we'll set up this run as freight only. We do get to use our brand new freight train there, which I like. And um, why not? Well, no, I'll save the uh, power for our passenger train. Uh, we don't need, yeah, we don't need that as a mixed service. We'll just have this one passengers mail only. And that will be uh, operated by John Ball with our engineer on there we go and then the other way we'll do the same again ready for when we can grow into that that line let's get us a john bull on there there yes yes john bull what else did we get we got uh another chief engineer this time it's research points and you make people miserable so you are not going to join the team what else have we got there? What else did we get? Oh, a spy. Guys, spies. Beatrix, please give us. It would be nice to end on the express train. That would be ace. I think we're good, aren't we? We just need one more freight train heading into Nottingham. And I think we'll call it and get on board one of our trains. Freight only. Add a locomotive. We'll get the Derwent on you. And you are good to go. We actually nearly spent all of that million we took out. Plus some extra. But uh, we have everything up and running, don't we? We have supply towers. Do you have maintenance yard? Should we go and check on those? You need one. Uh, I wouldn't mind one up here, to be fair. Yeah, yes, that would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? One there. And maybe one at the fish place. Yeah, let's get you in. Oh, we do, guys, we're, we're out of fish. And Pete, two trains are showing up. We need to upgrade it. How much is it? 300k. But it's going up quick. 
Ah, uh, we got the older. Well, I, I mean, I don't mind the older. There's our... Uh, <laughs> there's our Derwent. But we got the older instead of the uh, Firefly. Unfortunately, you're not required. <laughs> but uh, we can upgrade our fish place just before we go. There we go, our fish farm. And we're good to go. We need to bring in this milk at some point too. But that was a productive day, wasn't it? All right, guys. I enjoyed that again. We're on board now. A train heading from Birmingham to Nottingham. Our network is really starting to come together, isn't it? Are we going to be uh, expanding further? Oh, do you know what we never looked at? We never looked at the state of play. We've got to do it and then we'll jump back on board. 564 of 800, looking good. Yes, that was uh, my bad. Let's get back on board. There we go. Yeah, and that was a fun one and obviously productive as our freight count is going up very quickly. We might get that task done next time out. That's what I'm hoping anyway. All right, guys, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.